Okay, a few questions. Uh, a few people have asked me about living in Spain. Can they do it for a thousand dollars and a thousand euros a month? Or uh, I'll give you a quick breakdown on roughly what we are spending. But also, there's a couple of different types of property. See, if you're a couple, you can get a one bedroom apartment. A one bedroom will come in uh, 200 to 300 euros a month. Now, I've talked with some of my friends that are in a different area. They're paying 300 euros inclusive of bills um, a month, which is dirt cheap. Um, so that's one of your major costs. Next thing is, if you've got a two bedroom, which is what we have, ours costs 300 a month rent. Um, electric's about 100 euros. That's running two ACs, uh, plus a hot water boiler, plus the, the cooking facilities. Um, so all your shower, everything is electric. There's no gas in the property. That costs us 100 euros a month. Water is costing about 30 euros a month. And food, it varies because um, we prepare a lot of our food. So we can live a lot cheaper than a lot of other people. Um, but I would estimate for a couple, maybe 200 euros a month. Um, with a family of four, the maximum we're spending is 300, even if we're eating out as well. So eating out can be quite expensive. Um, the reason being is, I'd say you're averaging about 10 euros a meal. So if you have um, two meals a week as a couple, that's costing you 40 euros. That 40 euros you could actually buy your entire week shopping with. So that is roughly what it's going to cost. It's going to roughly cost you, for the absolute basics, about 1,000 euros a month. Now, depending where you are, you might need uh, to get a car. Uh, you got your tax, insurance, that sort of stuff. But if you don't need a car, don't have one. Uh, save yourself some money, get yourself a push bike. There's plenty of uh, cycle paths and all that other stuff to keep you fit. So you can actually get away from having a car. The reason I have one is the airport because I fly in and out and it costs 50 euros each way to get to the airport by taxi. Um, the buses stop in the evenings about half past 10, I think. So I can't get the bus when I get on my flight about 11 o'clock, that sort of stuff. So some of my flights are late coming back as well, which means I can't get the bus, which is why my car is left at the airport. Um, so if you just took in like ballpark park, you're talking about a thousand euros a month. If you're working in Spain, you can then get access to their medical facility facilities. Um, what you want to do is sign up for the EHIC card if you're from the UK or within Europe. Um, it's basically a health card. I haven't actually got mine with me. But if you take it to the local hospital, you'll get free care or a discounted care, depending where you are. It doesn't work in private hospitals, um, but a private can be quite expensive. Um, I think our an appointment at for Zoe's ear recently when she put something in it cost 115 euros um, for about 20 minutes so a consultancy you're looking at over 100 euros every time you go to the doctor um, unless you have your EHIC and you go to the equivalent of the NHS hospital uh, the reason we didn't is when I went initially there must have been about 100 people in front of us so instead we just went to the uh, private one um, so that's what I would say minimum for a couple you could do it on a thousand euros as a family you have to take into consideration uh, schools although a lot of the schooling is free you do pay for transportation you do pay for school meals um, and they can rack up I think my friend at the moment is paying about a hundred euros for his the bus and I think the meals are another 100 to 200 euros the joke being that the cost of those meals is actually more um, for your kids at school than you probably entire family budget I'm not saying that there's some tax fiddles or something going on there there's some money disappearing or overcharging but 
they do seem to be rather expensive for children's meals but yeah as a couple thousand euros very doable um, and that's basically having an apartment and stuff if you started um, moving around a bit and um, went mobile you know if you got a mobile home got a mobile caravan and stuff it's cheaper but if you were got like where we have you have a um, a proper apartment and working in the area then it's very doable but I will say a lot of the wages in the area are a bit like this um, because the, although there's a minimum wage don't assume they're paying it we know several people that do not get minimum pay they're paid below it some of them are earning 700 euros a month for a uh, 12 hour day so be, be aware that not everything's as cheap as it seems because you sometimes use as cheap labor um, it's why I concentrate on stuff in the UK where obviously I've got employment law protection here in Spain it's a bit mm. so yeah but also it all depends what you want uh, I would say Spain's got a better quality of life even if you're working for less money the food's better the environment's better clean air beach and all that sort of stuff so there's always going to be downsides but the pluses outweigh it anyway. All right, thanks for watching.